Hello everyone, welcome to my The Way Home official channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We often assume that everyone is experiencing a certain emotion in response to the White Witch revelation after the events of The Way Home's first season finale. How after all, could you not? We do have a tendency to believe that nearly everything has changed as the show moves forward into the future. Ultimately, we now know that the witch described before is none other than Cat. Even though time travel has been the main plot point for several weeks, there is still a sense of surprise. It all boils down to how tightly Jacob is bound. She is going to do everything in her power to get him home, because it looks like he is back in the 1800s. Is it not the case that the scene is already set for this? Yes, but practically nothing on this complex program is simple. The true question for us at this point is where the second season will begin and, more importantly, how soon the writers will return to this mythology. We intend to return to this specific century as soon as possible and utilize it to bring a number of other loose ends together. There will be a great deal of confusion, but are you really that surprised by it? There can possibly be other historical periods still in effect. We still believe that further twists are possible unless we start to see even more things settled about Jacob. In all honesty, we'd want to see more of the White Witch era and more of Kat's experiences at that time. It provides Chyla Lay even more work, if nothing else. Certain aspects of the mystery are becoming a little clearer as we get ready for the Way Home Season 2 on Hallmark Channel in the future. Now that we are aware of Jacob's final destination, we can understand what transpired to him. Since this figure is from centuries ago, it clarifies even more why Cat is the white witch that the audience initially encountered at the beginning of the show. Having stated that, we are aware that there are still some unanswered questions in this situation. Consider, for example, what really lies ahead for Jacob and the amount of time that Kat may spend in the past given what we saw of her during the brief flashback, flashforward, or whatever term you choose. Here's what actor Chyla Lay had to say to Insider with all of the major uncertainties that are currently looming. I'm eager to see what our investigation into the 1800s will entail. I was therefore asked if I had ever ridden a horse, and I thought, oh, that's cool. However, figuring out the puzzle and being able to see where Jacob is and what transpired. In addition, there's the enigma of how, who, or what the pond actually is. Who made the discovery? Who was the first individual to pass through there? How far did they go? How did that initially appear? Why does Cat appear so strange? Why is she being pursued? And why is she being referred to as the White Witch? We definitely believe that season two of The Way Home will take place in multiple timelines, and we're perfectly okay with that. Take a time to consider all of the possible directions that the authors could take with this. It should be possible for us to truly witness the extent to which Cat will go in order to keep the people she loves safe. Furthermore, we have no doubt that there will be further disclosures in the near future. When multiple things are going on at once, The Way Home is always going to be more enjoyable. Despite her established career as a TV actress, best known for her parts in hit shows like Supergirl and Grey's Anatomy, Chyla Lay showed up nervously to the set of Hallmark Channel's newest series, The Way Home. In recent interviews, Lay has acknowledged that she kept forgetting her lines during filming because she was so anxious to work with Hollywood icon Andy McDowell. However, McDowell made her and their youthful co-star Sadie Laughlam Snow feel comfortable, making sure that they became close to one another both on and off screen. Chyla Lay claims that she was unable to look away from co-star Andy McDowell. According to Deadline, The Way Home, Hallmark Channel's first new original series in almost seven years, debuted on January 15, 2023, to a resounding audience of 2.4 million unduplicated viewers. As a result, the series debut ranked third overall for the week and second among all cable entertainment shows on Sunday. However, Chyla Lay's intergenerational family drama filming got off to a rough start. Lay acknowledged in interviews conducted prior to the premiere of the show that she was very anxious to film alongside McDowell, 
who play some mother in the series. Lay admitted to New York Live, to be honest, I was so intimidated meeting her because she's such an icon. Lay claimed in an interview with Access Hollywood that on the first day of filming, she kept forgetting her lines due to anxiety. Lay recalled, I just kept staring at her face and I was like, I'm in love with you and I didn't know what to do. As a result, I could not remember my lines in their first scene together. She said a couple phrases that really helped me feel more at ease, although I think it was probably intentional on her part to boost my self-esteem. That kind of gal is her. Lay said that despite the fact that she and McDowell, a successful film actress in her fifth decade, had clicked right away on set, her anxiety got the better of her. Lay told Access Hollywood, To be honest, I was really nervous about it, but she's just the cutest. She is really hospitable. She just rushed up to me and gave me this big hug the moment we saw each other. Although I like to hug people, you never really know what to anticipate from them. However, she suddenly approached and gave me this incredibly smothering hug. Lay went on, we just talked, and you know, we had so much in common, and the biggest thing we had said to each other was, this is such a gift, Lay said, we get to work extremely hard to tell an amazing tale while also having a great time. Both of Andy McDowell's co-stars on the way home impressed her. Despite Lay's obvious nervousness, McDowell failed to notice it when he first met her. When I first met Chyla, I discovered, oh my god, this woman is powerful, I thought to myself. Before the performance debuted, McDowell addressed the cast on Facebook Live, stating, she's a really strong woman. Lay was fixated on McDowell, but it seems that McDowell was fixated with Laflam Snow, who portrays her granddaughter in the show. McDowell remarked, I stared at Sadie's face and couldn't stop staring at her. I would just be staring at her while we did read-throughs. She really is incredibly skilled, and I don't want to diminish that, but she's really stunning. McDowell concurred with Lay when he said that the young actress has a light about her. That is all. That's the reality. She simply glows and possesses a light. During the Facebook Live session, Laughlam Snow, who plays 15-year-old Alice Landry, expressed her excitement to work with McDowell and Lay, saying she wasn't aware of how close they had become on set. I don't think I fully realized how much of a unit we were going to be, the woman admitted. You'll encounter people you look up to and your heroes in this line of work, but you won't always bond as a family. And in my opinion, that was a truly exceptional chance. Being in a family with Chyla and Andy, as someone who's relatively new to this, and because we were always talking about the story, our relationships and the process, I just felt very, very welcome, reassured and supported, the woman stated. In a Yahoo interview, Laflam Snow expressed her appreciation for that connection once more. The Landry family dynamic is strong between the three of us, and they have been amazing friends and mentors to me throughout the process, the woman remarked. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.